Hello everyone, Ether Song here. And I'm back with another Blue Protocol video. The December update for the game has been released, and as we can see here, there's lots of people with new outfits and clothing. This is like the New Year's kind of clothing, the kimono-like ones. But also there's a new NPC here, and this is for the Defense Battle Game Mode. It's an 18-player cooperative game mode where you defend against hordes of enemies. And I'm gonna give it a try. So let's see if it goes. The update just released today. And this is a timed game mode, so it only happens a few times a day during set time periods. So you need to join in during one of those time periods. And it's a little bit more frequent during the weekend. And it's filling up, but we'll see if it, uh... We'll move forward. There we go. Okay, I had like the queue getting stuck for some reason <laughs> a little moment ago, but it seems to be going. Let's jump in. I haven't tried it out yet, so it's my first time going in. Let's see what it's like. So we got 18 player party here, which is pretty cool. Defense members. You can send like C stickers to your fellow teammates to kind of talk with them. All right. So the defense battle starts. So it looks like uh, these blue ones are the gates. So these are where enemies come out of. So we want to destroy the gates. So we destroy the gate and we also want to keep defending the, the gate, our main gate over there. <laughs> the wall, basically. And there's also areas that um, enhance enemies. Like these, there's red, red crystal-like things that enhance enemies. So we want to kind of be on the lookout for those as well. Let's let this spin to win here. And I guess there's 18 players, so you kind of need to cooperate, like, who's going to defend against enemies coming and who's going to work on taking down enemy gates and who's going to work on, like, each kind of, like, objectives and whatnot. Form, like, maybe kind of, like, multiple mini parties to kind of do each, like, area. You can see everyone's kind of spread out, but it's a, quite a big party for doing things. And the gate looks like it's fine right now, so that's good. I'm just going to be spinning to deal damage here. I got my other abilities as well. Knock that one down while I'm hitting it. And the areas that have more enemies, I can actually group them up with my dust vortex here. So if we look at the top right, we're at 4 out of 14, so there's different phases that the things go through. And each phase is uh, denoted by an icon. So like the triangular like ones, I think that's more aggressive enemies up here. The flags, I believe, are the rest. Times where enemies, maybe new enemy gates don't appear or something like that. And at the, at the end, we have um, the bosses. And everything other than that, just like normal enemy waves. Our gate is, and it has 100% if you look on the right there. It has 100%, and that's what our, our uh, gate that we're defending, the main gate to the city is at. Maybe I can group up some of these enemies. They don't seem too powerful, though, the enemies themselves, but maybe it's just the, their number. I'll have to see how the difficulty it ramps up as things go on. Everyone's just kind of uh, going back to defend, I guess. Yeah, we're at the rest period currently. So we have a little breather before more enemies spawn. But it looks like we're fine right now. I think we took out all the enemy gates. So no more enemies appearing. Oh, there's a red one. We should take out that.
Let's use my ultimate here. Let's see if he'll speed things up at all. <laughs> Nice. Oh, now they're running towards the gates. Now we're in trouble here. This is what I wanted. Oh, no, we got people grouping it up. I'll try to group them up around the gate. To the city. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just a battlefield. So each individual enemy doesn't seem to be that strong. So I probably can just maybe just take them out. Yeah. But there's numbers to them. I did like seeing that big wave of enemies appear and rush towards the gate. There's more things over there. I suppose if you get too far, too far away from what you're defending and enemies like spawn, you could be in trouble. Just pull them all in. You're not leaving. One guy's running over there. Let's see if I can get him. I do have my anchor shot where I can jump the enemies as I shoot, so I should try using that more often when I'm chasing enemies. Like for this one, I can shoot it and then I can jump to it. Yeah, it's a little bit more range than that, but that's the idea to it. It looks like. Our gate is fine currently. It's not dropping, so enemies aren't there. I've uh, buffed up my stamina a bit for my Heavy Smasher here since... It uses a lot of stamina for it. It's spinning moves, so I have 147, and usually 100 and uh, 100 is the base stat. So about 50 extra stamina, which can be nice for using your skills. I have different reload mechanics too. I have some a couple of skills equipped right now. This is a uh, over reload, I think it was. It gives uh, I don't remember the exact name, but it, it gives a boost to damage with my skills for a momentary set of time. We're at a rest phase, and then uh, three more, uh, I guess, four more waves of enemies. Yeah, over reload is the name of it. Is there enemies down there? I guess the gate got damaged a little bit more. Let me just stay closer to our own gate. Oh, I guess it's not a gate. It's like a wall. <laughs> it's, it's like the city gate, so I was calling it a gate. But yeah, it's like the wall you're supposed to be defending. Sorry for the misused <laughs> terminology there, but... We're defending the wall. <laughs> we need to hold the wall. It's a stronger foe here. Looks like we're fine. 
Yeah, our wall's at 93.6% currently, so it looks like we're doing all right. Okay, these red ones, these power up the enemies, so taking these down make the enemies weaker. And on the right side of the screen, you kind of see how many of the blue enemy gates, how many of the the red ones that enhance enemies are present, and how many uh, enemies are currently running around. So I guess the top icon is the number of enemies, the blue ones, the blue enemy gates, and the red ones, the enemy uh, enhanced devices. There's only four enemies currently present, but there's four gates, so more enemies are going to be spawning. And we're just about to the boss. The boss will spawn at the final phase, and if we take that out, we win. Okay, and the boss is going to spawn. So I guess if we beat up on the boss, we win. So maybe it's just best to go over to him. That's where everyone's going. So it's slow moving, but a powerful bow. And we've got other enemies running towards the gate. So we might need people defending the gate as well. I don't know how fast the gate's going to go down. But if we take this out, we win. So it looks like we're going to take it out pretty fast. <laughs> There we go. Defensive battle complete. And I guess there's ranking here. So I was number one heavy smasher and 13th overall. So kind of in the middle of the pack there. And you kind of get rewards based on uh, how well you did. So taking down enemy enhancement devices. This is for your placement, things like that for your class placement. And these are glory coins, which can be used to buy like cosmetic things and whatnot. Maybe I was only a heavy smasher. <laughs> I guess I'm not putting out as much damage as, you know, like DPS characters. So I'm more of like an off tank kind of person. But all right. So I think it's in there. We can try, uh, I guess, another run, and then maybe I'll do some gotcha. Because I have some free coupons. Yeah. We'll see if anything changes, but I think that's the general idea of the new defensive mode. So it's interesting, and uh, since this is like... Uh, I think it's set up similar to raids, so... Probably depending on the month, the location, and... Uh, maybe the difficulty and like enemy types of enemies and things might differ. It's kind of like a mode they can also adjust going forward if they want to. Maybe like make it more difficult or change locations and things like that. Alright, we can go in. Definitely a lot of people trying out this new mode, though. And there was other things added to this uh, update as well. I'll probably make a separate video for those. Some new locations and missions and things like that. And also there was some class balancing as well. I put up the over-reload to start out before the spin, so I get some more damage while spinning. Nice, so we took out one of the gates. Three more gates left, and then one uh, enemy enhancement device. So I want to be on the lookout for that as well. 
I should just use my uh, <laughs> battle imagine off cooldown, I suppose, just for more damage. Don't really need to hold on to it. Nice, another one of these down. I wonder if you get something if you completely defend the, the wall from the enemies. Like, take zero damage. Maybe there's like a special bonus at the end. Mm, there's an enemy there. The enemies, uh, there's different types of enemies as well in this mode. Some of them focus on just attacking players. Other ones will go to the wall initially, but if players attack them, they'll switch to players. Other ones will just kind of uh, rush the wall, and then you have the boss, right? That just focuses on slowly moving towards the wall. I don't even really need my uh, healing skill, so I could have probably swapped it out for like another damaging skill to take with me, but... Probably the, the Twin Strikers have a lot more uh, damage output potential as they're one of the main DPS classes in the game. So even though I can do some pretty good damage with spinning, it's still not as much comparatively to them. Because one of Heavy Smasher's uh, main mechanics is the spinning, spinning to group up enemies. So that your allies can uh, burst them down in one location. we're going back to defend against the, the hordes of enemies that are going to be appearing. Oh, there's something here. Oh, there's one enemy trying to run down there. Looks like they defended it. Nice. There's another one. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies coming. Okay. I think they're coming this way. Trying to slow them down. Ah, we took a little bit of damage. Unfortunate. Uh, another big wave of enemies, I think. Here they come. I guess they're all stopping. <laughs> they like stop before my ultimate. I guess they got distracted by our other allies.
doing a pretty good job of defending. One shot that one. Oh, there's a guy over there. Okay. A few more enemies in another rest phase. This is the rest phase, and then uh, four more waves of enemies. Looks like we're good. I guess looking at this currently, I mean, I would prefer it to be maybe a little bit more difficult, because I guess it is set for level 50 players, and everyone's currently level 60 if you're max. So, for groups of level 60 players, it's probably easier content. Probably be more difficult for uh, level 50 players, but... There is some uh, level scaling as well, but I think even then you still get a little bit stronger. Got hurt a little bit. Oh, there's another dude. So if I do a perfect dodge and then attack right after, I can do attack that kind of like knocks enemies in the air. Almost the last phase here. The boss appeared. It's gonna go to him.
Nice. Alright, and then we got some more glory coins. So I wonder if this is also just kind of like an alternative to the raids. Like something other than raids you can do. But anyways, let me jump out of here and I'll give some of my impressions about it. And then we'll try out the Gasha for the, the new clothing. See if we can jump back to town. All right. Yeah, so overall impressions. Uh, I like that they added the new game mode with 18 players, you know, a cooperative kind of thing like that. And it's neat having that like horde style invasion of like groups of enemies that you needed to uh, fend off from, you know, like destroying the wall. But at its current point right here, it felt uh, a little easy. <laughs> Like, both times, the wall only took, like, 2% damage. So like, maybe it would be a challenge if you tried to keep keep it at, like, perfectly 100%. But, you know, I would expect if they could have it, like, more challenging difficulty where you rake literally drop to, like, you know, maybe 30% durability left on the wall. It's like, are we going to be able to win this or whatnot? You want that, um, that feeling that you could lose, right? And, you know, maybe you do lose a, a couple times when playing it. So... I would like to see it get more difficult, but this is their first time putting it in the game, so maybe they're just seeing how players kind of react to it and they'll adjust it going forward. Like I said, it is kind of like one of their uh, timed events where it happens a few times a day and uh, more times during the weekends. But that those kind of events, like raids, they often uh, kind of switch up. Like the next month, it'll be a little bit different. So maybe they'll take some changes, maybe make it a little bit more difficult during the next month or, you know, like different locations and things like that. So we don't really know. But uh, I expect they're going to also take some player feedback on the mode. But um, at its core, I think it's a good mode to add the game. And I think it, it could be improved to make it uh, even more fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it changes, you know, going forward. But in any case... There was a new update and there was other things added as well. New missions, new areas. Uh, I guess just, you know, like lots of different things, so. I'm gonna be doing a look at the uh, gosh, I guess, since I have some tickets and I figured I might as well take a video as that. So I wanted like some of these kimono ones. These ones look pretty nice and I have 29 right now. So we can do 10 at a time. So I guess we'll try that. And they also have the male ones, but I'll, I'll go with this one. So we'll try doing 10 of these and see what I get. So these are the free Gasha tickets you can kind of just get from playing the game. They hand them out occasionally. I got like a a unicorn <laughs> horn or something. Okay, I guess one of them got like an upgrade. I did get like a sitting pose for doing it ten times, and I think the next um, kind of like emote I get is at thirty times, and the last one's seventy, which is <laughs> pretty insane. But yeah, let's do another ten and see how it goes. Maybe I'll get something. So what I got here, I got like just like basically the C ones are mostly junk. <laughs> There's some dyes, which can be nice, but I guess the the, the horn is kind of neat. There's the fox ma uh, max, uh, yeah, mask you can get that I am kind of interested in. You can see if I get that. That's another like A thing. But most, it's mostly just the clothing I want. It's not looking good. It looks like a lot of C here. <laughs> I 
I think I got a different color horn. Okay. And I don't have 10, so I could do like nine individual ones. Um, see, I can turn off the animation, I think. We'll just do it quickly without animation. See if I get anything. Just more sea things. Another horn. I already got this one, though. <laughs> How many I got left? I'm down to four. Oh, no. All right, last one. Oh, no luck. So, yeah. That's, uh, you know, gotcha. Gambling for you. <laughs> I think there's only, what is like, a 3% chance? I mean, I guess 0.5% chance for each of these, but uh, in total, it'd be like a 3% chance for an S. Yeah, so it's only a 3% chance. It's not really too high. If you do it 120 times, you can get your choice, but 120 times, that's quite a bit. Yeah, but as for, like, the clothing that was available, what was it, I think, like, right here? You can kind of see. It's kind of various forms of, like, these uh, kimono-like clothing, which I think look pretty good. But maybe I can get some more free tickets later. And hopefully I can get something. But yeah, it's kind of up to luck, <laughs> unfortunately. But in any case, that was just a quick showcase of the new game mode, the defense battle. And also just a look at kind of like the gacha here. I'll probably do a video, like I said, of some of the other new areas and like missions and whatnot that have been added. So look forward to that in the future. But as always, uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.